have finally arrived in Prague, guys. This is the first time I'm picking up the vlog because honestly, it has been a little bit of a chaotic morning to say the least. I mean, it's not been too chaotic, has it? But I just feel like when you're traveling and getting somewhere and because we've had a two hour delay, and we've also had a lot of like stuff to carry because we ended up being 2kg over in weight and then it was that awkward moment of the check-in where they're like you need to take some stuff out we weighed it before we um left out and it said 19 and a half so how we ended up being nearly 23kg at check-in i don't know we need to get some new scales um but yeah anyway we're finally here now we traveled from london luton this morning so it was like an hour and a half drive down so we left out quite early just because we didn't want to end up hitting rush hour traffic and all of that so we left ourselves like an extra hour Hour, but then ended up having an additional two hours there because we were actually delayed two hours so we were supposed to be taking off at 12 but didn't end up flying until it wasn't even quarter past two was it it was more like half two um but yeah anyway it is very cold <laughs> i think today's actually the coldest day it says on your um temperature thing six degrees but it feels like two and when i got off the plane i was thinking oh my goodness i don't think i packed right um but i honestly just thought it would be kind of similar temperature wise to back home at the moment because that's what it's saying like when you do look at the weather app it for some reason it feels so much colder um but anyway really looking forward to our little break i actually booked this for mitchell for christmas because i just didn't know what to get him and we both have said for a while now we want to come to prague um so yeah i'm gonna obviously vlog the trip and show you around and show you what we get up to but first of all i thought i'd just do a little tour of the airbnb so i actually booked everything separate because i always find it works out cheaper for city breaks so i just booked flights with was there and then um i booked this apartment the airbnb and it was 250 pound for four nights which i don't think is bad at all do you That's good. central location it's supposed to be like 15 20 minute walks like all the main attractions and bits and bugs so yeah let me give you a little pan of the apartment so this is when you walk straight on in just got a little hallway and um we have a toilet in there and then we have a separate shower room much to mitchell's happiness <laughs> last time is that the light in there how do i get the light on last time i booked a city break guys um where was it we was in krakow and i saw they had these freestanding baths so i was like oh i'll have a freestanding bath um and there was no shower no i didn't realize there wouldn't be a shower at all and mitchell was good because he hates baths um, yeah, so then we've got a little kitchen at area, which is really handy to make a cup of tea in the morning. We'll definitely be going to the supermarket. Oh, I should have brought some Yorkshire. Oh, yeah, I was say that. Um, yeah, and then we've just got a little breakfast bar bit. What I really love about this apartment is there's actually a big mirror space. Like, do you know when you book somewhere or go to a hotel and you've not got a good mirror? I like a full length mirror to see my outfit in, so I'm really, really happy with that. And also I can do a makeup in that. And then if I just pan around, this is just the living area space. So it's just a, um, what are they called? Not an apartment. Like what's an apartment when it's not got a bedroom? Studio, is that what it is? Yeah, Studio apartment. Is. Um, but yeah, it's massive. It's a real big space. Got a TV here, Wi-Fi. And then if we go here, it just looks out onto the street we're on, which is nothing much to look at. But it's nice and warm here. They've got the heating on. But yeah, if I just pan back, got the bedroom. So honestly, this is a really big apartment. And also got a mirror and some more storage bits and bobs here. Um, but anyway, I feel like it's around, what's time now? Half six, seven? So um, we did originally book an Italian for tonight, didn't we? But we ended up cancelling that because we knew, obviously, <laughs> we wasn't going to be here till a lot later. Huh? Yeah, we've already had Italian at the weekend. Yeah. We went out for Italian Saturday. Yeah, and it's like... we make it. Yeah, it's like nearly six and we just wanted to get to the apartment and chill before we go out. So, yeah, I think we're going to go and have a look for a Chinese restaurant, aren't we? Yeah, there's a Chinese restaurant we wanted to go to, weren't there? Mm. For some reason, we weren't going to let me book. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know. There seems plenty of restaurants just around here, anyway, on the street and stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get ready and freshen up. And, um, yeah, I'll take you along with us for tonight. Outfit of the night. I have got a jacket because it's so cold. Um, but I just thought I'd go really simple tonight. I was saying this to Mitchell, but when it's cold, all I want to wear is black. Um, so I've just got this little bustier top on from Miss Pap. It's actually a bodysuit. Then these black wide leg cargoes. I have actually put trainers on because we've got half an hour walk, haven't we? What are you wearing? Got me represent, Audi. Cargoes. 
Money, money Devoir. Money, money Devoir. Money Devoir. And then my lips. And then a jacket wise, look, we've got our little. What's this called? A jacket? This is a jacket station. <laughs> a jacket station. And then jacket wise, guys, I've just got this little cropped um, bummer from Zara, which looks quite smart. So there we go. There's your lot tonight. Bit boring, but. Um, oh, I have got these earrings in, which I think are kind of like. You love them. up the outfit. Yeah, I love them. They're like statement earrings. I feel like when you've got a bit of like a plainer outfit on. Oh, excuse the sideburn situ. Um, yeah, I think they. I think they just do something, don't you? It is our first day in Prague, so I just thought I'd pick up the vlog. I feel like I've not really properly vlogged. I can't even speak. I feel like I've not properly vlogged yet, just because I feel like you guys are already the first day when you're traveling somewhere, and especially if you're not somewhere like from the offset in the morning, it then just becomes a kind of wasted day. Um, and obviously, especially because we were delayed, it was literally a case of us getting to our apartment, getting changed quickly, and then going to grab some food and bed. We was both knackered by the end of the day, so yeah. Um, I did vlog on my phone the food. We actually ended up going to a Chinese place last night. Um, we saw it on like Google reviews. It had really good rating, but it ended up being a bit of a mission. It was like 30 minute walk from where, I say mission, it isn't that much of a mission, but yeah, it's a 30 minute walk from our apartment um and it was a nice walk to be fair like we always like walking and exploring anyway um but yeah it's nothing to report on it's not like you know super luxurious in the inside or anything like that the food was all really fresh i think what mitchell was saying is there's not many like chinese places around and i know people will probably be thinking why are you going to prague and having a chinese like why don't you try some more traditional food and all that kind of stuff but we like to stick to what we like like when we go away we like to have don't wear like an indian one night a chinese one night yeah um what food do we have like sushi Italian, maybe a steak night. Yeah. Uh, and don't get me wrong. Food in Poland, don't we? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not opposed to trying traditional food, but no, like of course, we don't want to try it. Though. Yeah, we will eat anything. But I just feel like when you're only here for a short time, like food for us is such a big thing. So it's like if we have a bad meal, it kind of like upsets yeah. you, doesn't it? And um, yeah, we tried some dumplings in Poland, and it was literally our worst meal. But in all fairness, we, was in, we was in a very bad restaurant. So I think that's what it was. Um, like, what's their traditional food here? Is it like goulash or something? I honestly don't know. I would try that. And I also think, when we was in Poland, I was saying this as well, like, all the traditional things there were very, like, warm stews and stuff like that, and it wasn't the weather for it. Like, I didn't want to be eating that kind of food when it was hot, whereas now it's so cold here. So I probably would try that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, anyway, today's a new day. Oh, I need to tell you as well about what happened with the salt and pepper chips last night, because it was just so fun there. So we ordered food last night, and when we always have a takeaway at home, we always order salt and chilli chips. Now, if you're from England, you'll know, like, most Chinese restaurants do salt and chilli chips. They're so nice, but I feel like it just must, must be an English thing, because it wasn't on the menu. So Mitchell was like, I think Mitchell said, can I have salt and pepper chips? Because it's either salt and pepper or salt and chilli. So he's like, can I get some salt and pepper chips? And I think there was a bit of a language barrier. The woman didn't really know what he was on about. So she was like, yeah. Anyway, we literally got fries with salt and pepper on. <laughs> it was so fun. Eh? Literally the funniest thing ever. Um, but yeah. Like, you didn't eat any of them though, did you? Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really into fries. I like I chips. Them. And they were fries, weren't they? They were French fries, not like That's what I'm saying. Chinese fr chips. Like if I ever go to a restaurant and fries is on the menu, I'll always say can have chunky chips instead. I just, I'm not a fry kind of gal, unless it's McDonald's. So, yeah, anyway, food was really nice there. Would you recommend? 100% for Chinese. I've looked for a long time for Chinese in Prague, and they're all very, decor-wise, not very good. Yeah, it's all the but same at Chinese. It's the same though. in any Chinese, but the food was banging. Yeah, it was really nice. It was all fresh. Mm. Portions were huge as well, weren't they? Massive. Real big portion sizes. So, um, would recommend. Yeah, I'd give it a... 8 out of 10? 8.2. 8.2. Um, so, anyway, today I think it's the, on the forecast, it's the most driest day out of the few that we're here. I think we've hit a bit of a bad forecast for our few days. What do you think? Is it going to be alright or? Just go with the flow. We're going to go with the flow, but anyway. It changes every day. Every it's hour. forecast rain tomorrow, so it's Wednesday today, Thursday, Friday. And then yesterday it was showing it wasn't raining tomorrow. 
So um, it's just, they keep changing. You just gotta go day by day. You know? Yeah, so we've just said anyway, because today is forecast a dry day, we're gonna try and do all the like more outdoor things today and then museums and everything like that over the next few days. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble too much. We wanna get out. I think we're probably gonna go for some brunch maybe. Grab a coffee. I think head up towards Prague Castle, which is about a 40 minute walk. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just see what's on the way. Do you want to show them your new gadget now? What? <laughs> this is what you got me for what? Um, Christmas. Yeah, right, picture that. With... It was actually, no, do you know what? Do you know how you said you wasn't going to bring that? It was actually... For this. For this. Yeah. Um, I've made it my new thing this year. Well, I said to Mitchell, every time we go away, we need to take a disposable camera, an old school disposable camera. You don't know what picture you're taking. Really fun. And then at the end, you get them developed and it's just... You can put them in a little book as well. I feel like not every, yeah. like people don't do that Take as anti as well. Not this no, one. No, get another one. one. Probably they're expensive yeah. though, isn't it? And need a few for Thailand. How good would that be? About 300. Yeah. Anyway, ciao, bye. Come on our day in Prague. Very quick outfit of the day. Agnola hoodie, Primark rubber jacket, wide leg trousers, New Balance shoes, my bag, and that is it. I was going to wear a hat, but Mitchell said no. And yeah, it's the coldest day today, so I needed a hoodie as well. I need a woolly hat. Ah, no, I should have got my jacket, Mrs. One. Jacobs. Jacobs. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm really regretting not bringing that scarf and the hat, but I just really didn't expect this cold because it's been this amount of cold in England, but it just doesn't feel this cold. Do you know what I mean? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. You got the key? Yeah, don't win the right one in that one. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was the one you went in. But to be fair, it was pitch black up here. Yeah, just, just yeah Mitchell. Um, was trying to get in someone else's door and you also tried to get in the wrong building door. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> What's the yeah, it's fresh. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's supposed to be... What's the temperature today? Is it like three degrees? About three degrees. <sighs> I can feel it. I'm glad I've layered up. So if you guys have been following mine and Mitchell's travel vlogs for a while now, you'll know it is not an abroad trip without going to a McDonald's. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, it's like... 9.50. I don't normally eat this early. I'm just not a massive breakfast gal. Um, and we we're walking to the castle first thing. So Mitchell said he couldn't walk there without the having something to eat. So I've let him come McDonald's. And <laughs> we are going for brunch somewhere nice. So yeah. Anyway, I thought I would pick something up though. Because they had a few different things on the menu. Mm. What's that? Is that not nice? Oh. <laughs> oh. You might um, So... These are basically pancakes with cream and chocolate, but they were called something like hot cakes or something, weren't they? Yeah. And then you have gone for? Classic hash brown. Sausage and bagel. Yeah, Cheese. we don't have the bagels in England anymore. We were no, saying this. So, gonna give us, oh, that looks nice, babe. It's got bacon on it. Mm. Mm. Happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, guys, these pancakes. These pancakes are so good, you need to try them. You literally need to try them. They are so much better than the pancakes in England. Give us your alive first impression. Mm. How good are they? Yeah, they taste so fresh. Yeah, you're in not. They are me. Anyway, I'm gonna eat them, guys. Oh, wait, what? This is weird. I don't know what sauce is inside. It's got like a mustard mayo or something. Yeah, it does look um, funky. We we'll carry on. <laughs> No sé lo que me está pasando Siento que alguien me está llamando Ella es mi motivation Corre base en mi mente como vapor Baby, yo te soy fiel como Jacob Dígame yes, baby, don't say no Imaginando, hey yo Tu boquita en la mía, baby, sería un sueño You know, pero si fuera real, mi amor Imaginando, hey yo, tu boquita en la mía, baby, sería un sueño, you know, pero si fuera real, mi amor. Cheers.
keep it in there. <laughs> Up next. These guys are taking a very long time to do my editing. Yeah, but I do think you go quite fast. It's more of a photo shoot than a golf game. Is that my tooth? Yeah. I've two old, two, two all in ones here. And I believe I'm going to do it again. So just, just watch it now. No, where is it? Yeah. Is it coming up? It's coming up and we're going to shoot out here. Okay, I feel like I've not checked in all day. It's been a bit of a cold one. I feel like the temperature feels warmer now, don't you? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's finally got warm, but honestly, all day, it has been so cold. I've not even wanted to pick up the camera and vlog. That's genuinely how you I feel. You like it's been in minus. It, no, do you know when you go onto Google and type in temperature, and I feel like it said four degrees, feels like zero. Honestly, it no. has, no, 100% it's felt like zero. You're like being a bit of a pussy fart. <laughs> I feel like you're being a bit of a pussy fart. Anyway, let me take these glasses off. I'm <laughs> literally it's my glasses. So just done some outfit photos. One second, it's gonna be a bit noisy. Anyway, I feel like our eyes are adjusting because we've just been very to dark the Prague Golf and Games. Golf, golf and games. Um, because it was a little bit cold, Mitchell likes to say it wasn't, but honestly I've been freezing all day. Um, we just thought we'd go and find some indoors to do. So yeah, we went to the golf and games. It was really fun actually, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was good. What was the pricing, sir? It was a game of 18 rounds, wasn't it? Yeah. Two drinks each. Yeah. 20 quid, was it? 20, 20 pound? Yeah, I don't think that's bad. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, what, it was... What did you, have you had a Bellini and a Mojito? Yeah, like, for the girls, if you want a little alcoholic mm -hmm. beverage. They are for boys as well. Well, I know, yeah, I know, but like, boys typically like a beer, don't they? Oh, I do like a beer. I'm just saying, like, if girls don't want a beer, they have, like, um, Bellini, mojito, yeah, like cocktails in a bottle. Cocktails in a bottle, yeah. yeah. Quite gassy, but nice. Good price, to be fair. Um, so yeah, that is what we've been up to. I know, but the lighting's really crap on. That's why I put these on. Take them off. Look. You look like bloody Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I don't look like Stevie Wonder. Does Stevie Wonder wear these glasses? No, or Elton John. Elton John doesn't wear these glasses. Alright, you just look like a donut. Anyway. Not sunny. No, I know, but we are on the route to find a little bar near to our apartment now, I think. Because it's getting a little bit later. What's time? Four o'clock, we're out of port to eight. Where are we going tonight? An Italian, don't we? Yeah. Which does calzone for myself. Yeah, basically, Mitchell's just picked it for himself because he oh, wants yeah, calzone. Have you seen the menu? No, I've seen some gnocchi that looks nice on it, so. Well, we might check that sushi out. Sushi out of you, don't we? Yeah, my arm's really aching now. You feel how heavy this is to hold. Just pick it up. You could gym now. <laughs> I know, but do you know when I've got, oh yeah, I've not even told you about our sweet situation. Yeah, Four would go to minor sweets because we'd seen it on Instagram, no, TikTok. And I mean, me and Mitchell do love some sweets. 20 pound on sweets. Four would go in there and then I was like, oh, You can but... literally get three bags of Aribo <laughs> and I'm about the same. No, but it was one of them where we were like, oh, we're abroad, we just get some. It was, it was fun in there though, wasn't it? It was fun in there. And I feel like you were the reason why it cost yeah. us. It wasn't twenty pound. It was sixteen pound. You put two frogs in. Oh, it was twenty euro, wasn't it? You put two frogs in. Yeah, but they were nice. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down. Ciao. Ciao. Good evening, guys. So it is our second night in Prague. Um, I feel really sleepy. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel knackered. I don't know if it's from Juan. Cause I'm Juan. I don't know if it's that, but I just feel absolutely wiped. Um, did have a little nap when we got back earlier, and now just quickly freshened up and ready for night number two honestly it's i've said this already in this vlog but when i'm cold i don't feel inspired with fashion i don't feel in the mood for anything like 
I've just chucked on a pair of jeans from Zara. This Zara top it is actually the longer top. I did style this with like wide leg jeans. And it looked really nice, but it didn't look right pulled down. So I've just like tucked it up and made it like a bandeau top. Chuck my leather jacket on again, and then these little kitten heels from Primark. Yeah. Um, Sorry about the cat in the back. Um, and also I've put my um, big oversized Zara earrings in again, just because I feel like they just finish off the outfit. Um, so yeah, quite a simple boring outfit, but a little bit more dressier. How about you tonight, Mitchell? What we got going on? Scruff. Mallets. Zara. Carl Buxton. I don't know this one, is it Prim? What's it say? Um, Instagram fit. Instagram. Like Prim, Prim. There we go, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Prim Sick Lula, Yeah? Sick Happy with that? I'm happy with that. Yeah. I ain't really not going out jacket. Like, I know, really? it does look a bit scruffy, doesn't Is it? it? Oh, no, <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's only casual Italian we're going well, for tonight. Yeah, it? it's just to wear while I'm walking. It's yeah. really cold out. You could, have put, you could have put your. Um... <laughs> I don't know what jacket you could have bought, and you ain't got anything else. Anyway, I need to wait. Let's go. I'm walking. <laughs> I don't get you. It's strong. You want an absolute microphone. That's probably one of the best approaches I've ever tasted. What? I'm say it's awful. You're one of them who's like it. You are. When all these thoughts are running, yell and catch me if you can. And I'm wondering if I should chase behind or stop wondering. And try to take a stand Oh, and they keep asking where the hell I'm going Who I'll be for the rest of my life Well, I don't know where time is gonna take me no, All right, I don't really know what to say about the situation right now I think Mitchell thinks I'm 18 again Wait, I'm gonna run out of memory, one second Right, tell us what you've ordered I've ordered the most popular drink in Prague. And it stinks. I can't believe it's just a matter of it. Everyone's having it. So I thought, I'm going to jump on the man wagon, isn't I? Four shots, three pounds. Four shots, three pounds. Go on then. Did you not drink that bottom bit, no? What is it? <laughs> the 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 what do you eat? Do you eat? Do you eat? We're going down, you go. <laughs> oh, I think as well. Swallow it. Swallow the cherry. Talk to me. It's not as bad as before. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That one tastes like that. That's what I'm saying. Mine was strong. You didn't play the sheriff with that. Wow. Mine was strong. So cherries, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Best part. I thought it looked like yolk, to be honest with you. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We're on day two of Prague. Um, just got ready. I'm actually heading out for brunch this morning. I feel like yesterday, there was a bit of a miscommunication with food with me and Mitchell because he is an early morning eater so we had to stop off at mcdonald's before we went on our little walk to the castle but then i was getting hungry at like 11 12 and he was like oh i'm not hungry and i really wanted to go for brunch but he'd already had this mcdonald's so yeah we ended up just going for like sushi and mm, noodles nice, didn't we a bit later so i hold it out for a few hours but there's so many nice brunch places in prague that i really want to try out i had like a little list that i made so i said to mitchell look if you're gonna be in early in the morning, then we just need to eat early in the morning and have breakfast, brunch, and yeah, because I really want to try out these coffee places. Um, so this morning we're actually heading to a place called Venue, I believe it's called. Again, found it on TikTok. I feel like TikTok's just your tour guide for any place that you go. But yeah. Anyway, what we've got planned for today is supposed to be raining a lot today. Well, it weren't supposed to rain yesterday, and it did. I know. 
but then it might not rain today, who knows? We're going to the, is it the Illusion Museum? Illusions Museum, yeah, that is not one across the road. Yeah, we wanted to, we were supposed to have done it in Krakow, but we didn't do it. No. And then two of my friends went Poland. Did they say it was good? They said it was quite good, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do a museum, because we thought, we'll at least like plant as if it's going to rain, um, so then if it does rain, we are inside. So we're going to do a museum, I think, I want to go to the, Nash the history one. Yeah, we're going to go to there. Um, I don't know, we're just going to explore, move around and just see what. I want to go to the Star of Prime and Brewery. Of course you do. Of course you do. Banging bit. Um, anyway, let me just show you a quick outfit of the day. I'm not really sure about this hat, but just thought we need to like... It's a little like me. No, I just feel like I need to mix the look up a little bit, no, you know what I mean? So, actually, I feel like I do need the light for this now. That's better. Um, so, today, we've got this little white top on, it's from Miss Pap. Um, my black wide leg trousers again, switch up the trainers for Uggs today and then I've also put this little cropped trench on from Bershka is it Bershka? no it's not actually Bershka, it's Stradivarius, that's the one and then I've also mixed up my bag, never mix up my bag but I feel like this uh, Did you tell your pals about, um, Mark Jacobs one goes better yeah, pro spritz. No, we've not actually updated them. See, when I'm out, I don't actually like vlog because it's just You're like loud. Out. Well, no, it's just loud and it's just awkward yeah. like sitting in a restaurant talking when it's just so busy and stuff. And basically, last night we went to a bar after the it was Italian. Called the, the cheapest bar in Prague, apparently. Well, I was just like, again, TikTok in, trying to find us a bar to go to because Mitch was like, want a couple of drinks after. And anyway, it just came up on a TikTok like, cheapest bar in Prague. They weren't kidding. It was two pound. Two pound ten. Two pound ten for an Aperol spritz, which is unheard of. Like, if you have an Aperol spritz in England, I swear it's like twelve pound. And then we had we seen so many people. We seen so many like locals having this shot. And what was it? It was like it was a cherry in the bottom. Weren't it literally it? like a yolk in the bottom. Yeah, but it was a cherry, wasn't it? No, but yeah, I didn't think it was something like that. <laughs> and then there's a cure and something else. I don't know what's in it. It's like amaretti almond. Did yeah. you think that? But all the all the locals were having it before. Uh, and before 10 o'clock, it was a good deal, wasn't it? Yeah. Apparently. So before 10 o'clock, everyone was getting all wearing There must have been hundreds and hundreds of them just on the, on the bar, weren't there? So we was like, I'm going to go. So Mitchell, Mitchell went up and got us two each. Four shots, £3.20 or something. So cheap. And they were actually nice, weren't they? Yeah, actually, were really well, nice. My first one weren't that strong, and then the second one absolutely blew my throat. <laughs> I thought it was strong. I feel like with Prague as well, some places you go to would just be kind of like your standard -y price like you'd pay at home for a meal like last night it wasn't that cheap was it like my apple spritz was like seven quid still not bad though still not bad but then other places you go it seemed really really cheap so yeah. it just it just really depends where you go and it's like all you all the ones on tiktok that are big they're the expensive ones yeah you've got a good following and whereas more, you're more like backstreet ones yeah. they're obviously a lot cheaper like that place across the road for pasta was like three pound that's what i mean so but people anyway. don't go there because it's do you know what I mean? It's not on TikTok. <laughs> They're probably the better ones. Yeah. Be but we do yeah. also like nice like decor and We're going for a curry tonight, aren't we? Yeah, you've picked this, haven't you? That's number, this is number three <laughs> in Prague. Better on be good. all restaurants. On all restaurants 4, in Prague? 4,796. But then sometimes it makes me think, are they just making everyone review it and give it a good review? Because you know some laces are corrupt like that. Yeah, like Ben's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Bye. Okay, I'm finally remembering to vlog this morning, so we are in a place called Venue. We have just had a, well we just have, we've just got a latte, ice latte. It comes with this little syrup thing, it's so cute. I think it's just like a sugar syrup, they don't actually do flavoured syrup here. Um, but what do you rate the coffee? It's really nice, isn't it? Mm, considering the sort of flavoured uh, syrup. You normally like yeah, flavoured syrup, don't you? Syrup. Yeah, really, really nice. And also, the coffee was in like cubes, wasn't it? Yeah. Like coffee cubes, and it like, they put the milk over it, and I don't know if it melts, I don't know, it was weird, wasn't it? It was. God. It's February, you came, don't want to throw it all away. As shattered moments fall in vain, you pick the pieces up and say, Well, I guess that's what. It's worth like a die mind with a curse. Okay, we're in a bubble tea shop because this is Mitchell's first time trying. Which bubble tea? Like you suck them up. 
I've got the ta taro milk tea. I've never actually had a milk one. I normally always get the fruit ones, but apparently this is like the OG one, so okay, I'm trying. Go on. Mm. Nice? Yeah. Let me try. That's what I want. It's refreshing. What's that Mmm. Mm. 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 try mine. Mine's not going to be refreshing because it's a milk one. I'm not sure about this. Ooh. That's different. It's nice. It's very milky. Yeah. I do prefer the fresh ones with her. Yeah. It's nice though. Mm. 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 What are you doing? Sucking up the little popping little things. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so nice. <laughs> 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 you not? <laughs> if I told you how I feel. Would you be here still? Wow. I'm walking. Okay, we are now on our way back from the Irish bar and just thought we'd stop for a chimney cake. This is the vanilla cream and strawberry one. How do we? I don't know, like, <laughs> well, we're shame on that's yeah, why. How do you eat it? And we're walking and eating, so I think it's going to be a bit messy. What should have you even tasted actually any of the cake yet? I don't know what you do. But I think people are like picking it with their hands. Go. go on. <laughs> But these are like traditional, are they traditional? No. <laughs> You've literally got it everywhere. I don't, I don't know, yeah, you know, you're having a go. Okay. What? I feel like you do it like this. Mmm. Like, more like that, look. Okay. Mmm. Okay, so it's a little bit later now. I'm not too sure when I last picked up the vlog. Did I pick up the vlog when I was in the Irish place? Was that last time? I don't know. Yeah, I can't really remember. We've done that thing again where we went to the Irish place and then it was raining, a bit miserable when we came out. Um, and then we just headed straight back. Oh no, I did actually pick up the camera when, I didn't vlog I don't think, but when we got them chimney cakes, what are they called? Chimney cakes. Yeah. So I will have shown you the chimney cake. I don't actually think I spoke much or like gave you the lowdown though when we had that. Um, but yeah, it's something we've been seeing everywhere. I feel like we've seen it more here than Krakow though. Do you know how you said they were in Krakow as, as well? Like I didn't really see them in Krakow. Um, but yeah, anyway, we really wanted to try one. So we just shared one. What was your opinion on the chimney cake? It was weird, wasn't it? I wanted chocolate, but they didn't have chocolate, did they? They did say they had one chocolate. There was, what to be fair, it? I feel like the one we went to, they didn't have many flavours. There was no. only like two or three flavours. I think some of them around here did more. There was a lot of fruity flavours, weren't there? Mm. I thought they were nice. Yeah, though. it was good. Like, it was really tasty, like at least mm. an eight out of ten. I'm glad we shared one. Yeah, I feel like they'd be really sickly. Um, anyway, what is the time now? It's about six, isn't it? Half past six. What time is our meal booked for tonight? Half past seven. So we're going out for an Indian tonight, half past seven. Apparently it's like number two on TripAdvisor or something, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's supposed to be big. Um, I feel like they do Indo-Chinese as well. Is that what it's called, where they do like Chinese dishes too? Yeah, I feel like it's, it's like crispy everything. beef and stuff, isn't there? Mm, and I love crispy beef. But no, we're having Indian tonight. Oh, I do love crispy beef. Chicken masala. Um, so yeah, gonna go, gonna go and get an Indian. I've not read on my makeup tonight because I feel like by the third night, if you've been walking all day, then you come back and have like a little nap. 
I then just thought, I'm just going to have a shower, keep my makeup on, shove my hair up, and, and it is what it is. And I've even got trainers on again tonight, because I just think, when it's the summer, right, on a city break, I'd wear flats, I feel like they're a bit more dresser. Mm. And I don't know, you a little bit more in the mood, it's warm and whatever, but I've said this before, you don't agree with me, but the weather, like, impacts my mood. One, with dressing, so I don't feel like I want to dress up as much. Um, and two, I don't know, just with how I feel as well, it's been a bit... It's not cold today, it's definitely like double the temperature it was on the first day we got here, isn't it? But, yeah, I'm just, I'm just in a comfort. I'll show you my outfit, it's another Zara one. Yeah. I feel like I've been a bit obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with Zara at the moment. No, I'm fine, that's my little Instagram light. Um, so yeah, tonight's outfit is these cargoes from Zara, put my new balance trainers on. And then just this little like long sleeve top from Zara as well. Earrings are cuts. Done my hair in a bun because I don't know, it's like when do I wash my hair? Monday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we're on like day four now. So I've worn it down to I've worn it down today, but then I thought no, it needs to go up now. So I'll be up from here onwards. And then also my favourite little Bummer jacket from Zara again. I love this jacket. I feel like it's so nice for day, but because it's got the padding in the shoulder and it's quite structured, I feel like it looks quite smart for night as well. And then I'll just have my little black bag on. Let me show you. Oh, God, that needs a white. That does. Um, I might take the straps off, actually. Or, I don't know. I can't bother. Um, yeah, anyway, that is tonight's outfit just in case you need some city break inspo because i've had loads of you ask for city break inspo but i feel like it's so hard at the moment because it just really is weather dependent like if you come in somewhere that's going to be 14 15 degrees quite dry not sunny i'd probably be dressing like this wouldn't you yeah but then if, again if it's like you're going room and it's i don't know 20 degrees and just that little bit warmer i feel like then it'd probably be maybe like dresses or i don't know something a little bit more spring but yeah this is as spring as i'm getting with these green trousers anyway let's get out the door and get to the indian we're going to get an uber aren't we because it's 40 minutes walk from here and we can't be bothered to walk so anyway ciao you can tuck in i think that is the mango and then that's the i reckon it's going to be spicy though I'm a bit worried about the ro job. i know she was like it's spicy Nice. Perfect. Thank you. We're on the vlog. We're on the move. 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 Um, we've just had. Probably the best meal. 100%. The best meal. I knew it was going to be. Of our trip. I'm so it. glad we went there. It was really nice. It was so pen. Anyway, now we're off to Anthony. Is it, is it just here? No, it's been further down. down. Um, yeah, so anyway, we've had the best meal of the trip. At oh, the... this is cash only though. Oh. oh we can afford a couple. Gonna do yourself there, aren't you, hun? <laughs> anyway, best meal of the trip at the Indian restaurant. What was it called? Um, Sangam, Sangam Indian restaurant. So, so good, busy and they do in Chinese there. food as well. Indo Chinese. Indo Chinese, which sounded amazing. I feel amazing. like we should have gone there for the Chinese. Yeah, I feel like that as well. Because it would have been superb, mm. and superb. probably around the same price. Mm. It was really good. I recommend ten ten. Ten ten. Ten ten. And now we are still in what neighbourhood is this called? Carlin. Carlin. Yeah. And we're off to little little pub in it, a little wine bar. Yeah, it was really nice. We just went in there earlier just for a cheeky a beer, wine. A beer and a rose, four quid. So cheap. Yeah, go with that rose again, that was so nice. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll sort that. <laughs> anyway, uh, it is raining now. <sighs> What's up? Yeah, what do you mean to do that? It's raining. Again. It's raining. The island is raining. He went to bed with cheese on his head and couldn't get off, you know what? Okay, I'm going to go to Anthony's the lock, I'm tonight. Oh, Anthony's are just here apparently. Piano live, ooh. So we'll go to 10th hour. Oh. Good morning everyone. Um, it is our last full day in Prague today. So we're just going to head out for some breakfast now. It's a little bit late this morning because I was going to do some work and then I was in the middle of it and just thought it's going to take too long. So scrap that idea. Just thought I'd quickly show you an outfit of the day. I'm at that stage where I just don't really know what to wear. Um, because it's just different every day but i'm just wearing sarah jacket little bralette some pretty little thing trousers new balance trainers 
And um, yeah, that is today's outfit and it's hair up now because the hair's greasy and I don't want to wash it on this trip. So <laughs> look at that, look at that plant. It looks ridiculous. Right, anyway, we're going to Bistro Monk this morning. You found it, didn't you, Mitchell? Yeah. It's got really good reviews actually on yeah, um, Finger. So yeah, we'll take you along for breakfast. We had really nice breakfast yesterday at venue. Mm, that was good. So good. So hopefully it's on par with that. Okay, so just what we pick up, well, thought I'd pick up the vlog. Um, I've not actually vlogged since we've been out today, and there is a reason for that. Um, it's because we went to breakfast, and it was rammed, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. How rammed was breakfast? We were literally sharing tables with other yeah. people, weren't you? I was just saying, it's such a shame, because the breakfast place was so nice. Like, the breakfast itself was really nice, wasn't it? Eight point. Out yeah, it was like good really food. tasty, yeah. good food, however, um, we were just so cramped, it obviously was a popular place, so it was one of them places where they just, in the rain. they just try and put too many tables in somewhere, and also just cramming you next to each other, which I don't really like, so anyway, didn't plug in there, then it started hammering it down, so it's just been a case of we've been walking around with an umbrella, stopped off for a coffee didn't we? Went to the Lennon Mall before that, didn't we? Yeah, don't, yeah. I don't really know what that was, but we're well, busy, we had, though, isn't it? Really busy, but we ticked that off. Let me just stop a minute because oh, I need to explain what we're doing now, and I'm literally out of breath. So, yeah, basically, we are now climbing up. <laughs> Have you got it? We've seen it on TikTok, didn't we? We've been looking for things to do today. Pet, pet Run Lookout Tower. Pet Run Lookout Tower, apparently. You normally can get a... It's a cheaper version of Eiffel Tower, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, but you normally can get a tram or something, can't you, up here? Yeah, cable. Cable car? It's not, it's not a cable oh, car, cable. I think it's a tram. It's not a tram. That looks like a tram? No. Oh, is it not then? Yeah, it's like a cable car, but it's not in the sky. It's oh, the, okay. The um, but yeah, for some reason then, it's not open today, so that's a shame, because it looks so fun as well. But you can walk it, which you're saying it's 10 minutes. Yeah, but it feels like we've been doing it for about an hour. <sighs> it's so steep. So yeah, if you're not one for steep hill climbs, maybe give it a miss. But I don't know what I'm expecting when we get up. It's supposed well, to be apparently, pretty. I mean, as we're walking now, it's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, the gardens are not nice. I feel like it's just something to different to do as opposed to just to being in the city all the time. Yeah. Um, and yeah, also, because it is rainy and stuff, like, I feel like there's only so much to do, isn't there? Drink coffee. Go for brunches. Yeah, um, so yeah, it's really nice anyway. So I'll show you the view, nice view at the top. Yeah, like look how nice that is. I was never the one to write up a song for just any. What are we doing? We get ourselves into some absolute. This was you who suggested this. Oh. To be fair, I think it would be a good view at the top. My legs are out and already though, what about you? Yeah, we need an approach for this afternoon. That's what I've got. Then he won, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh. Because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Because you. Glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free Why is it? Every time I go to get the camera out, the sun keep, keep drinking The sun it. comes in, come, the sun goes in, not comes in, goes in You keep drinking And I, well, I'm just about to say, it's finally sunny in Prague <laughs> um, but it's not it's not because the sun keeps going in but it is actually a lot nicer now isn't it yeah. and I think it is planning to stay dry for and the rest we'll of the day we've actually have, had a bit of a sweat on as well because that was quite hard we just climbed up the mountain obviously it's never a city break trip 
or just a trip in general with me and Mitchell unless we're climbing mountains. So sure, we, ticked, we ticked that off the list. Um, and now we're going to go and find a little bit of munch. And it looks really dark over there, Mitchell. Yeah, I know. It is just like, oh, it's sunny. And got all like, excited and happy with yeah, a bit of blue. On, uh, yeah, you did even put my sunglasses on. And look, how crazy is that? Blue sky there. And then grey over there. It's like being back in England, isn't it? Huh? What? The house lounge, pizzeria restaurant. We had pizza. No, it's going to be obviously do Italian, isn't it? Oh, okay. Right, anyway, we're on the hunt for some food now. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a man. Good evening everyone, don't know where I got up to in the blog again, I feel like these city break vlogs just, I don't know, I feel like they're always a bit sporadic because you're always just on the go and then it's that constant like having to remember to pick up the camera which I do obviously, I do, bleh, I can't even speak, I do forget to do and also I've been feeling really crap today, I just feel so bloated, I'm not sure if it's because I'm during my period or I don't know, like a combination of just eating whatever I wanted to eat for like the last four days. I feel like, do you know when I'm at home? Do you know just because we eat relatively healthy? Yeah. And then when I start eating just like what I want for Messes breakfast, lunch, it. it really does mess with me. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just, honestly, the bloat right now on me, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I've put on my baggiest trousers. Um, I did have another outfit planned for tonight, but I just thought I just want to be comfy. I've got my trainers on, some wide leg trousers. I'm re wearing this top again, but I wore it with my jeans before, so I'm just re wearing it with these. And then just shoved my little trench on site. Very casual, but I feel like it's casual vibes anyway in the kind of spring when it's miserable and raining in Prague, don't you? Yeah. I feel like some of people dress up more, but yeah, when it's like. Warm. Yeah, so anyway, we are going for Thai tonight. Is that Thai? Is it Asian Thai? What kind of food is it? Do you know? I don't know. Is it? I feel like, it's it called Asian? I think it's Asian and Thai. I don't know, Vietnamese? I didn't even know. Um, all I know is there's a Pad Thai on there, there's a, a Thai curry, things like that. Um, we were going to go for burgers tonight, but... Oh, is it? Vietnamese and Thai. Ooh. Favourite. Uh, yeah, we were going to go for burgers tonight. Some really nice burger places in Prague. And they did look insane. Um, but earlier, me and Mitchell got caught in a shower. We was a bit peckish because we hadn't had anything for lunch. So we ended up going to McDonald's and having chips, burger, and nuggets at McDonald's, didn't we? And I don't know, I still feel a bit bloated now. I feel like if we'd have yeah, gone out... Eating, yeah, we're not eating for another Yeah, what's time now? Like, ten past seven. Oh, that's an hour. This is an hour below. Yeah, um, yeah, so if we'd have been eating in 20 minutes, I wouldn't have oh, been able to eat, would you? I feel so still. So, um, yeah, we've skipped burgers and we're going for Vietnamese instead. And that's not until half eight, did you say? Half eight. Half eight. So we're going to have a couple of drinks. And yeah, so I'm glad about that. So, yeah, we're going to go and find a bar now, have a drink. Although I might just end up having a Diet Coke. Oh. I don't know, I just feel that's so not bloated. Not. I know, but... have a bit of rum in it. We will see. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, just thought I'd check in. Um, and I'll obviously show you my food and if it's good, I'll recommend. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Okay, so hello from present me. As you can see, I'm now back from Prague and there's glorious sunshine, which honestly, so happy about. <laughs> I feel like that trip to Prague was so good. Like, Prague was beautiful, but it also was a little bit of a dampener because of the weather. And I know you shouldn't let the weather get to you, but for me, it just does. If I am somewhere and it's raining, cold and miserable, it just doesn't hit the same. And I said to Mitchell after we got back from Prague, like I'm not gonna do a city break when it's kind of like not guaranteed the weather again because yeah you just you can't experience it and enjoy it as much as you do like when it's summertime and stuff like that um, we'd have been better going Italy at this time of the year because I was looking at like you know Rome and stuff 
when we was away in Prague and like it was 20 degrees sun and just seemed a lot nicer weather. I mean, I know you can never ever guarantee the weather but yeah it wasn't great in the same breath like i say we did have a really nice time and prague was beautiful and i can imagine in the summertime and warmer months it would be amazing um but anyway guys i did just very quickly want to come back on and wrap up the vlog because yeah as you all saw the footage just ended um but I think I literally just filmed the breakfast on the last morning and then I just didn't pick the camera back up again because it was another nightmare. We got delayed. Um, it was only about an hour and a bit, I think, on the way back. Um, but on the way there, it was two hours. So it wasn't too bad in the schemes of things. But honestly, that's like the first time or second time I flew with was there. I feel like it's the second time I was there and every time it's been bad. I will never fly with there again. They are awful. Um, so yeah, sorry if anyone's flying with them soon, but just be prepared to be delayed because yes, we was delayed on the way out and the way back. It's just annoying. I, I mean, I know it can't be helped sometimes, but yeah, um, I feel like they do live up to their reputation of being like the most delayed. Is it the most delayed airline they are? It's something like that, but yeah wasn't very good um but anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you have made it to the end i appreciate this has been a very long vlog bit sporadic bit all over the place oh and i also wanted to say uh, the reason i've been delaying actually editing and getting this vlog up as well is because i just felt in the footage i looked so vile when the lighting right is dark miserable and gray i feel like it just makes you look so different on camera it was period week as well i just felt so bloated and like my face just seems to blow up on my period as well like it's only just going down i don't really know what it is does anyone else get it but yeah i just feel like when it's time of the month for me like my whole face just goes out like, like really big and yeah I, I i don't really know what the reasoning is of that but i just felt disgusting the whole time i was away so yeah <laughs> anyway i've got over it now i'm just like look i look how i look it is what it is let's just get over it put the vlog live and you know this week's new week anyway ciao i'm rambling bye thank you for watching i don't know what i'm doing now <laughs>